there, hey there guys. Thanks again for tuning in and pressing play. Today I wanted to do a video just shedding light on how your pain gives birth to your purpose. So the pain of our past and maybe even your present, it actually gives birth to something. Your pain also has the potential to either make or break you. If you're not in a place of understanding of how God can turn all things around and cause them to work together for the good of those who love him or who are called according to his purposes. We can walk in the victim mentality or even with the woe is me um, mindset of why these things happen to us. I know very, very, this is very personal for me because for a long time I walked as a victim. And I did not understand that God had already freed and delivered me from those things and what he wanted to do in return for the pain. He wanted to give me beauty out of those ashes. And he did exactly that when I was able to acknowledge, yes, these things happened in my life and they were very, very hurtful, whether it was out of disobedience, rebellions, foolishness, or I was I, I was falling prey to something. I was a victim to something. While these things hurt me in this way, God came and he gave birth to purpose. He gave birth to ministry. So I realized that in doing that, I um, have this huge amount of compassion to those who I may not be able to relate to presently now in my present time, but in my past, the Lord has freed and delivered me from so many different things. So how can I not show that same compassion? How can I not show that same mercy? How can I not at least try to have that same amount of understanding, that same amount of grace that God showered down on me, it is available to you. So I wanted to just really shed light on this area. A lot of us really run from pain. We run from those things that really are embarrassing, those things that uh, will cause us to have to face the skeletons in our closet. But those things that are behind you that you are freed from, you are freed from those things. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. But God still wants to use the mistakes, the failures, and the pain of your past to give birth to something, to help someone that may be presently going through something that you are not. So I wanted to go to sec, uh, 2 Corinthians verse 1, starting at chapter 4. It says that he comforts us in our troubles so that we may comfort others. When others are in trouble, we are able to give them the same comfort that God has given us. So that is the purpose for everything that we are going through. My pain is my ministry. So I realized that once I got out of that area of wanting to hide behind the things that are now behind me, that are now covered in the blood of Jesus, that I have been, re that I have redemption from, that God began to use those very things that hurt me, those very things that were meant to destroy me, that the enemy meant for harm. God works it out and he's continuing to work it out for my good because I realized that I am now a victor and not a victim. I once was a victim, but now through Christ Jesus, I have triumphed over those things. So I have victory through Christ Jesus. So I just really wanted to share that. I didn't want this video to be very long, but remember your pain is your ministry. Wherever you are, you might be in a place where you don't understand why you have to face something that you would like to forget, but you cannot be freed of something that you do not acknowledge. So I want to encourage you all to allow God to heal you, allow God to deliver you and allow God to use that pain of your past to be a help to someone else. Because in um, uh, chapter five, it says you can be sure that the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ. And in, chapter, in, in verse six, it says, so when we are weighed down with troubles, it is your benefit. It is for your benefit and for your salvation. For when God comforts us, it is so that we may turn and that we can encourage and comfort those that are around us. And it is so very crucial that we get out of ourselves, that we get out of the way and we allow God to be God. We allow God to fix those things that are broken. So wherever you are in your journey, remember that um, you cannot be free from something that you are hiding from. God cannot deliver you from something that you are not willing to acknowledge that there is an issue or there's a problem. So it wasn't until that time where I got in the place of true um, submission. And being absolutely honest and rendering my 
surrendering my will for the will of God, that God was able to touch those very hurtful things of my past. And he did. He gave me beauty forth out of ashes. And it made, um, it set me in a place of destiny. It set a foundation for purpose and for ministry. And it makes that capacity that the Lord has called me to, it may be a different capacity that the Lord has called you to, but whatever capacity that the Lord has called you to, it makes that capacity, that area of ministry, that much more powerful, affected, and sincere, and pure, and he anoints you. And his grace, it follows you. And that way you're not overwhelmed. That way you're not in condemnation. You're not in shame. You're not um, in guilt because you realize that I'm no longer that person of my past. The new has come. So I want to encourage you on today to embrace the fact that your pain gives birth to your purpose. And your pain might just be your ministry. Grace and peace to you guys.